Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. Got a very exciting session ahead of us. Hopefully it's gonna light up your day. Because I certainly hope it's gonna light up the zoo. We will be doing a bit of a beauty pass focused primarily around lighting today. But we will also be integrating some of the new sponsor boards we have. We'll definitely be able to get to both today. So very, I'm very confident in that statement. In fact, if we only get to one or the other, I will be shocked. Uh, we'll be able to get to both today. And I'm really excited for uh, some of the plans I have. And I'm uh, excited for some of the experimentation I want to do today as well. Um, just there are some spaces that I'm not exactly sure how I want to approach them. So I always look forward to playing around with stuff. And hopefully you all will enjoy that kind of process as well as we do it during our time lapse. And hopefully the end result will give us a much, uh, yes, a much, a much brighter zoo. Uh, which is uh, which is lit up in, in in many more ways than it is currently by by which I mean not at all <laughs> by which I mean not at all it was great to see your responses to our, uh, our previous episode as well with regards to the progress we made I'm actually very happy with the progress we made last session very happy with the end results of last session as well and it seems many of you are on the same page as me there as well which is always cool to see great to see some feedback as well and some great ideas were being shared too with regards to what we uh, might consider doing to kind of cap off that hippo space uh, and there's definitely uh, there's definitely some good ideas and there were some ideas that were uh, pushed forward as well uh, that I kind of had on I was I was kind of contemplating as well uh, that I was pontificating that I was pontificating of myself oh that one kind of hurt um <laughs> but uh, uh but yeah we'll, we'll we'll get to that i mean i don't know if we'll do that today we might do that as a part of like a larger beauty pass in this area as i've talked about before or it's just like when we're adding the next animal we might go back and quickly cap off some of the work over there uh there are a couple of ways we'll we'll tackle that but today i want to try and stay focused on the uh, the two topics at hand uh again the, the the lighting which i think we need you know quite a bit of and uh and the sponsor boards and things like that as well to make sure those are all integrated right off the bat again we're a little bit later on that this month but that is partly because of the southeast asia dlc pack which if you haven't seen the videos you might enjoy watching those time lapses a lot of kind of free form building was going on and if you enjoy uh you know hearing the cultural stories and also watching some of the builds then you would uh likely not necessarily but you'd likely enjoy that uh, mini series that we did as well because it was kind of basically its entire focus was building enclosures sharing stories, talking about ideas and plans and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, so we are, uh, we're going to be integrating those, uh, those boards in. I've got some interesting ideas. And again, we'll be doing a little bit of experimentation here and there as well. And uh, fortunately, the time is perfect for, uh, for a lighting pass as well. We're in the dead of night and we'll... Really? Come on. We're in the dead of night, and that means that, you know, it's it now is the time to, to implement some of the lighting and whatnot. So, uh, um, it kind of worked out perfectly last session. I want to mention as well, folks, you might, uh, you might have already seen the results of uh, what I was kind of talking about last time and the time before as well with regards to uh, leaving a like, leaving a comment. Um, I, 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 again, I believe in transparency, so I'm very, I'm very transparent about this kind of stuff. I try to be at least... Uh, sometimes some things might slip my mind to mention, but I do try to be as, as clear about this as uh, as, uh, as as possible. And I think the proof, as they say, is in the uh, in the pudding, uh, because you can see how again because you guys came through and and dropped those likes and 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 just kind of engaged in those ways with these previous episodes. You can see how the numbers were uh, have kind of like shifted, um, and it does make a very big difference. It really does help with uh, the decision making process. It really does help me. Kind of know what folks are still interested in what people are moving on from what i should keep doing on the channel what i should stop i see many of you are very excited to see elite zoo south continue and then perhaps more even after that uh, i've seen some questions come up again actually before we dive into the time lapse about uh what happens after episode 100 and i just want to clarify um we are going to continue this zoo until it is done episode 100 happened to work out for elite zoo north that is obviously not going to be the case for elite zoo south because we have plenty more animals to add in uh and we'll need plenty more time to do it uh, so episode 100 will not be the finale for season two. And as for what happens afterwards, I don't know. Couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. We'll uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Uh, I want to touch on actually, sorry, one more thing, which is the um, current community challenge. We haven't got any contribution contributions of our own just yet, but we should be able to, hopefully, two days left only. So it's entirely on this session. But if we're able to, what are the chances? Okay, 
no joke, no joke. Uh, what, like, 100% not kidding around. I did not, I did not notice the title of this um, challenge until right now. What are the chances? Brighten your day. Are you kidding me? It's because it's called a candle of tapirs. Is that what a... I was wondering, I was like, what's the relevance? Yo, that's amazing. Like, it was, it was meant to be. Anyway, I'm hoping... Because the, the, the target is to breed 10,000 Baird's tapirs. It's already been achieved, which is great. But yeah, a candle of tapirs is sure to brighten your zoo. Yes, that's really what a group, of, a group is called. That's amazing. Uh, embrace their light with this week's challenge to breed Baird's tapirs. Uh, okay, I didn't know that. Uh, or maybe I did and I forgot it. But, but I, I don't recall knowing that. But either way, brighten your day um, is something that I was hoping to participate in. Uh, if we are lucky... Then when we hit play after the time lapse, we'll be able to at least contribute one, uh, if not uh, if not a couple. But I mean, uh, we, we only have this one session to accomplish what we can accomplish. And what's the situation over here actually right now? Do they already have a child? Are they pregnant at the moment? Anything we can hope for? I think they just recently had a child, didn't they? We have a numbers problem here. How did I let it come to this? How did I let this happen? So, Sitlali should stay. Yep. You are the dad, I suppose. Not the best genetics. I remember this conversation. Uh, but where, how, how, did I let, uh, how did I let them get overcrowding? You're on the older side as well. Anyway, let's go ahead and rehome you. Oh, I can't? That's weird. Release animal to the wild. Are you, does it say infertile because of the contraception, I guess? Okay, fair enough. Well, why don't we go ahead and still release uh, Wayman to the wild for those conservation credits and uh hopefully these guys will be well taken care of and we'll have uh i don't know you were just born weren't you you were just born this is these are all red because we are uh we haven't pressed play yet social she might be a little stressed out but the enrichment is red because of that hmm we might not be able to contribute to that community challenge but we'll we'll we'll, we'll hope for the best we'll try we'll hope for the best uh, Alright, with all that said and done, I think it's time for us to dive on in. Uh, lighting pass, beauty pass, sponsor board pass, lots to do. So folks, without further ado, it's time lapse time. Alright folks, I am super pleased with today's time lapse. We actually managed to make progress in both fields uh, that I talked about, so uh, really pumped to uh, get going. The first order of business is me actually finding some great hippo sculptures that make me realize that we can make that central empty space quite interesting. I got some really interesting suggestions in the comments of the previous episode, and I got some ideas of my own as well, and then I came across that sculpture, and now those kind of comments and my ideas and that new sculpture, they're all coming together, they're blending, and I, I have some plans. So we'll tackle that, but we won't do that today. Again, I want to stay focused on my lighting pass and my sponsor boards and stuff like that, so we'll we'll come back and do that during a separate you know beauty pass or, or something at, at some point. Uh, first order of business today is actually naming this enclosure. And the name we're going with is Kiboko Kundi. Now, I might be pronouncing that incorrectly. Chances are I probably am. If you know better, feel free to correct me. But Kiboko Kundi is Swahili. Or, as a suggestion said in the comments, it means hippo herd. And uh, some of you might point out that hippos don't travel in herds. A group of hippos. So, I've seen it. I've seen folks say that it's called a pod of hippos. But I've seen it be called a bloat of hippos, so I'm not 100% sure. But either way, uh, I looked it up, I did a bit of research. I always like to do a little bit of extra research, especially when I'm tapping into a different, uh, you know, culture or language or what have you, just to be careful, I guess. Uh, and I saw Kundi get translated as group, uh, uh, primarily. Uh, so maybe it's one of those words that is, uh, you know, it... it, it uh, it adapts to its context. It could be a contextual kind of a, a word. I don't know if that's a common thing in Swahili. I would love to be educated on that topic. Those are things that are a bit tougher to look up. Um, but uh, but I have had folks in the comments kind of like uh, educate me on that front. So I'd love to know a bit more about that. But uh, seeing that it it it, it uh, evidently primarily or perhaps you know contextually, I'm not sure, uh, means group. I thought that works quite nicely because it's a hippo group. Um, group of hippos. I don't know if this is grammatically correct, but uh, it's also an alliteration. 
cultural tie-in, alliteration, I mean, it's just like it touches on on a bunch of my favorites. So again, thank you very much for all your suggestions. I got a bunch of great ones and that's no surprise to anybody I imagine at this uh, this stage in the game, but uh, but thank you all for them. It was a, it was a tough pick, but uh, uh, but I'm very pleased with uh, the one we ended up with. The first of the sponsor boards we're going to be doing, and there aren't that many sponsor boards today actually, but the first one we're going to be doing is for the hippos. And uh, I had <laughs> I, uh, I had a bit of fun, fun with this one. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to recognize what it is, because if not, then I failed miserably. Um, but given the context of, of the space, uh, please, please tell me you recognize what it is. Please, in the comments, just like, let me know what you think it is. Because if you can't tell, then I'll have to rethink all my life decisions. Uh, but either way, our first uh, of a handful of sponsors today is for the hippos. And that sponsor is uh, Raphael Lalonde. I want to mention, as always, folks, as I uh, you know, kick off the sponsor boards, if I get any of your names incorrect, if I pronounce them wrong, please, please, please feel free to correct me in the comments down below. Uh, I try my best to get them right, and it's always great to like, kind of like get get checked, as it were, if I'm making a mistake, so I can fix it for for, for next time. Uh, but yes, our first sponsor today is for the hippos, Raphael Lalonde. Uh, I wanted to maybe make this into a bit of a seating arrangement or a seating space or something, but the benches just weren't working and it's actually not as large as I initially thought. I kind of lost my sense of scale, completely zoomed in, so you saw how big that bench was. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with uh, with how that ended up. I'm uh, pretty happy with, uh, with how it looks. It's quite cheeky. Next up, we have a new sponsor for our saltwater crocodiles. And uh, we already have the uh, existing kind of structure, so we're going to pull that, flip it to the other side, kind of keep them together. I like to try and keep the sponsor boards together or near each other. I definitely want to try and keep them like similar to each other, and keeping them nearby is, a, is I, I find, a good idea. Uh, but yes, our uh, crocodile sponsor is David Hallowell. And uh, apart from just getting the board in there, thanks to it being uh, nighttime, I'm able to right away tell that it's also not lit none of this is lit it's not legible at night so we went ahead and got some lights in there but yes our second sponsor today is for the saltwater crocodiles that is david hallowell and i do know that you want to sponsor the uh, pandas as well we will go ahead and do that uh with next month i what i try to do is i try to do like everyone can sponsor as many animals as they want or or be and be as many staff members as they want but to implement them i kind of go like you know one uh, one a month because otherwise in a, in this hypothetical mindset i have we might end up with uh, with somebody asking for like a hundred in one one day. No one's going to do that, realistically speaking. But this is where my brain goes. I, I always extrapolate to like worst case scenarios, and then it's like, well, well, now what? Uh, but anyway, uh, we'll we'll get we'll get to that panda uh, uh, next time, buddy. Let me know if that's all right. I hope that's all right with you. But I do have it noted down. Uh, now moving on over here to the hyenas next. Uh, I came back here, and at the time, way back when we first established the sponsorship here. Uh, I was pleased with what we had. We had this like graffiti kind of a thing going, and I was like, yeah, you know, it's like a, it's like a, uh, it's like a historical site that has like quote unquote vandalism on it, but like historical vandalism, which is a thing in the past. Like the Varangian Guard, like Vikings, uh, or I should say, I guess the Norse have vandalized uh, the Hagia Sophia, for example. If I'm pronouncing that right, I've never never known with 100% certainty. I think it was, yeah, I think so. But but so like it's, it's that kind of that kind of vandalism, not like modern day somebody came through with their tag or something. But no, a ancient times somebody came through with their tags. And Ashley Horan is our newest sponsor uh, for the hyenas. And uh, and as I came in here, I was like, you know, we're gonna rework this space to make it feel a bit more substantial, and I feel like this is much better. So we have Wendy from earlier and Ashley Horan from today joining in to sponsor our hyenas and then finally we go over to our painted dogs over here looking for a good spot i was like i was we're we're we, uh we're you know we've done a variety of things that i looked at the, uh, wow you can barely tell in the time lapse i actually i looked at the dingoes for reference as well really quickly because i was like why don't we like make it similar to the dingoes but different uh the dingoes have like one giant kind of piece of wood at the top uh but with these guys i wanted to have you know sure a piece of wood by the top over here by the top of these like coverings uh but i wanted to tie into that kind of painted idea but i looked up some of these uh, uh like i remembered having these pieces these african uh wooden pieces with the stripes on them and i was like you know they're, like they're painted on there's a pattern going on all those things coming together to build this uh what ends up being uh, not just a the sponsor boards but a decorative element as well like we've done a couple of times uh so india over here sponsoring our painted 
dogs or African painted dogs. Um, and with that, we have all of the sponsor boards done, actually. So we move on now to the lighting pass. Uh, this was, it was interesting trying to light some of these spaces because some of these spaces are massive. And uh, as I've, you know, kind of said a few times in the past uh, with the, with this, with this, uh, with the series with Elitsu South, is that I've been trying to go a bit more kind of subtle with the lighting. I don't want to be as like, uh, loud or as uh, vibrant or as uh, can't think of the right word. The word that's coming to mind is obnoxious, but I don't want to say that because like the lighting at Elitsu North is not what I would call obnoxious, but it's like invasive. <laughs> There's a word out there and it's just not coming to mind right now, but I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. I guess that's the one. Overwhelming. Yeah, There's a word with an O. Obnoxious, overwhelming. Yeah, you can see where you can see where where my head was going, but that makes it a bit more challenging because you got to find the angles, you got to find the right uh, saturation for the lighting as well, like in terms of the color so it's not too bright. You got to find the right... Uh, the, the angles especially are the most challenging part because I, I want to try and avoid those hot spots but at the same time it's the spotlights, ironically enough, that uh, that provide some of the best like wide, like kind of broad spread lighting. And you can see me actually trying to figure out how to get light in the middle over here. I was just like, those spotlights don't reach far enough unless I make them too bright. How do I get some lights? in this middle section over here. Fortunately, these uh, these new world, these, I think they're the new world pieces, are very versatile. I love the, uh, I love how they look, I love how they function, I love how they like look as objects themselves, and I also like the kind of light they cast. Uh, I use them quite liberally, and uh, now they've helped me kind of light up that uh, space as well. And this, I'm actually really pleased about. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do over here, but we come back with some of those new world cylindrical lights, and honestly, I love, love, how these covers look. Uh, I didn't think I'd be so intrigued by just the addition of four light pieces, but here we are. It's kind of got those like, again, like cyberpunk vibes, if you will. Obviously, it's attached to a wooden thing, so, you know, only in so far as it's attached to a wooden thing. But I don't know, doesn't that just, there's something very like modern and, 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 and stylish about it, and it's so simple, yet it does the job I needed to. It lights up the space and looks good while doing it. I'm really pleased with that section, actually. I was like, when I when I zoomed out of that section, I was like, oh wow, okay, that's uh, that looks pretty dope. I want to do this in, in more places. We might want to look at integrating those, uh, those covers in more spots, actually. I mean, y'all let me know what you think. I, I thought they were pretty cool, uh, as short-lived as our time there was. But sometimes, um, you know, you keep it simple and uh and it does the trick right uh sometimes the the answer is 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 the simplest one and i think that was a, a clear-cut case of that exact thing a couple more spots over here to put light in that spotlight pun i was actually not intentional but i will fully embrace it uh but a couple more spots to put lights in to uh to to, to light up the walkways and i'm not too pleased about that light up over there so we'll, we'll figure out a different solution up there and down over here you'll actually see as i go around to light up some of these other dark spots i come across the revelation of right our uh power doesn't have full coverage i'm gonna have to fix that but at this point in time we're running out of time and uh, i figured we'll call the time lapse over here we'll get a couple more lights down we'll call the time lapse over here pretty happy with the amount of progress we've made though uh there's obviously much more to go but it's a never-ending project one of these uh one of these zoos right i hope you had a good time with this time lapse though folks but for now back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse, and I'm very happy with how that went. We did a lot of uh, we did a lot of fun stuff. Um, I don't know if some of you maybe had in mind that the entire zoo would be like a thousand times brighter at the end of it, but that was never the intention. Though uh, I realized during the time lapse that I may have uh, may have implied as much while we were uh, uh, while we were setting up for the time lapse. But uh, no, I'm pretty pleased with uh, some of the spaces we've created. And uh, you know, actually implementing the lighting as we created some of the uh, uh, some of the signage and whatnot, like uh, uh, Kiboko Kundi over here, for example. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Again, feel free to correct my mispronunciations. I always welcome that because um, I mean I don't speak every language in the world, and uh, I'm not familiar with every. Uh, it's not just necessarily about speaking every language, but also I haven't been exposed to to many languages, right? So it's like. Uh, I wouldn't know where to begin with something, so feel free to correct me there. I'm sure I kind of went over that during the time lapse, and I don't want to repeat myself. Uh, actually, while we go around a little bit, I do want to hit play, because if we have some Baird's Tapir babies, that would make me very happy. Um, though, of course, as we do that, we will be having to struggle a little bit with the uh, the frame rate. Gonna have to look for more solutions. We could reduce our, uh, our guest count, um, or something like that, maybe and remove some of the waterfalls, reduce some peace counts somewhere. 
and as I say that, I talk about one of the uh, sponsor boards. It's probably made of like the most most number of pieces. You know what? Actually, I feel like hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and go ahead, go ahead and go ahead. Just a heads up, folks. If I sound a little out of it, in my f if my voice is a little strange today, and if I seem a little out of it, then it is because I. Uh, some of you bore witness to this, but I did a prolonged stream. Uh, yesterday, as of when I'm recording this, that went on for eight hours, and then I had to record, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, a Banner Lord, uh, which was, you know, an hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes of recording, and then I had the stream earlier today, again, as of the time of the recording here, uh, that was a two-hour stream, and now we're over here, so if I sound, if my, my, my voice sounds a little hoarse, that's why, and I apologize for that, uh, and if I, um, if I seem... To uh, stumble over my words or uh, be a little bit slower than usual, then uh, then that's why, and I apologize for that as well. But uh, that would be uh, just for today, hopefully, and we'll <laughs> we'll be back to back to normal very soon. Uh, I just paused time again so that I could place this light and then return to uh, like just so I could place this light while the sun was uh, still set because the sun looks like it's rising. Oh, look at that! It's beautiful game, honestly, ridiculously beautiful. And that, that does the trick. What I could do instead is, uh, what? Animals escaped? I oh, will be fine. We'll check them out. I don't know where these escapes are coming from. They used to not be able to escape, but now I'm imagining some update came through or something, and things have changed, and I gotta go back and, and make it. I never understand those, uh, those updates when, when, when the updates cause us those kinds of issues. Like, maybe it's an old problem that just disappeared temporarily, but, uh, but it's back now. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll cross that bridge in just a moment. First, I would like to... Can I select that light again? Can I even find that light again? I don't think so. Okay. Go ahead and... Can I ever find this light again? Oh, there you are. Oh, oh. Yeah, come on. Oh. I do wish it was easier to select some of these uh, more complicated... <laughs> arrangements now again gotta give uh gotta g gotta be honest i cannot expect the developers develop around this kind of madness not that not just i am doing but others as well right like this kind of like intricate layering of, of of stuff it's just one of those things like i wish it were possible wish it was uh, i wish it was easier to select things in these uh in these constructs rotate you strangely as well this is another thing that i wish we, there's a there's a type of pivot that you can do in most 3d software that uh, i wish we could do in uh in planet zoo um which uh which you can't but it just kind of like changes what the center point is and and, and changes what the what, what the axes are because like you can see over here for example right like when i select this and i try to use these tools either of them you can see how they flip and it's like that's not what i want i want i want it to face like this right i, I want to be able to pull my z axis and go up and down like this not in this weird diagonal which helps nobody uh, so i gotta struggle with like placing this you know what i mean uh anyway uh, that's that ramble done i think uh, we good over here yeah that works that's kind of like teeth anyway uh so that's uh that's one of the sponsor boards with like one of the most uh uh i think pieces over here on the topic of piece counts as i was saying from earlier uh, and i did also completely apart from uh apart from that and um adding a new uh saltwater croc um sponsor board as well i did also oh and also actually relighting this space too i'm just going over this really quickly because i feel like some of the stuff might have been gone by too quickly in the time lapse but yeah, we relit the uh, the path over here and, and and lit these signs as well uh but apart from adding the uh saltwater croc sponsor board the hippo sponsor board uh i also went ahead and um well we added the uh the sponsor board over here as well trying to go for that kind of like painted theme you know the patterns the, the, for the the painted uh painted dog you, you know what i mean uh but beyond that as well i also actually decided to completely redo the um the uh, hyena ones because uh again i'm sure i talked about it during the time lapse as well but i decided to redo these because i just i i, I didn't quite while I liked it at first, looking back at it today, I was like, "Yeah, I feel like we could do uh, we could do some more with uh, with the sponsor boards here." But uh, 
But that uh, that's that for just a quick recap. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with how uh, how today's uh, time lapse went, though. Like apart from adding the boards, we did a fair bit of lighting work uh, up over here in the uh, in the uh, in the in the Nile monitor enclosure. What I do need to work on over here, though, is getting more electricity across the board. We don't have electricity all the way to the end over here. Yeah, so you can see how this bench isn't lit up. So that's gonna need some uh, some love, I guess. But I didn't want to I didn't want to do that today. I want to figure out where we put down a uh, probably gonna be a solar panel. Probably gonna be a solar panel. Um, on over here. You're like stuck here, aren't you? Move you out. Hopefully that'll fix the problem here. Come on. Yeah. Ah. <sighs> And our dangerous animal has uh, has returned to... Our dangerous escaped animal has uh, unescaped, I guess. Over here, let's go ahead and... Ooh. Luanya is infertile. Oh no. These max stats. Are we really going into the... Yes, let's go into the cave. Have we ever seen this? Have we ever actually seen them, like, in here? He's, like, passed out. Just like the lighting in this game sometimes. Look at that. Like the 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 backlit, like rimlet kind of look on the fur. Look good. So good. Amazing. Um What was I what was I going on about? I've completely lost my train of thought there. I apologize, uh, but no, I'm I'm pretty pleased with our our overall uh, lighting job over there. And right now, I'm really hoping we see some more Baird's tape here babies coming through. Uh, overall, I think we are doing quite well as far as uh, the management stuff is concerned. Oh right, <laughs> I remember where I was. I was trying to save uh, these lions from fighting each other. That's where I was. All right, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move Dicomo and Jonas over to the trade center for their high quality animals we'll see if we can't trade them out at some point um and atuanya is elderly so i kind of want to wait until atuanya is done and i imagine among the uh lionesses over here we have some great stats yeah i'm not surprised i would love to get a new high quality male uh to continue producing extremely high quality lions and lionesses i mean look at these stats though oh my god this is the first yellow we've seen. Um, so yeah, definitely that's going to be the plan. We're going to go ahead and, and send off all the males. One way or another. And uh, and, and get a new male for our uh, our lionesses over here. Who have extremely fantastic stats. The hell? Murder that pinata. It's absolutely murdered it. But I think that'll be, I think that'll be good for the lions. Um... I don't think there's really any other logical way of approaching it when you have one lion and multiple lionesses is, is the target, right? But the Baird's Tapirs, I mean, I'm not sure if we're going to have another baby here. Even just the one. I would love to have even just the one, but this guy is a newborn, isn't he? He's 0. 0.6 years old. He's basically... So cute. He's basically, um... Yeah, like... Basically a newborn. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if we're not if we don't have another baby on the way. And that would be too bad, really, because like it's not it's not like we can always participate in the uh, community challenges. It's nice when we can. Not one of those times. Age is good. They're all you know fully happy and everything. Come on. Wake up. Work. Nah. Not gonna be able to make anything happen over here, obviously. The lowers are giant. A Galapagos giant tortoise is about to have some offspring. Fair enough. Do we have any action over here, by the way? I just want to see if guests come here without me needing to establish a new spawn point. The thing is, like... I, 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 I would like... I don't know. It's, it's, it's obviously... The decision was obviously made, I imagine, because the developers realized that uh, zoos were getting this big. I think I mentioned this last session as well, that zoos were getting so big that... Um, 
guests were not making it all the way out, and so in franchise mode as well, let's go ahead and allow players to, um, to, uh, build spawn points. But I would really like to see our guests make it over here from the, you know, base level entrance, the, the starting entrance that we get. This guy looks like he's Ralph from Wreck-It Ralph. <laughs> A wrong hair color, I guess, but the shirt and stuff? I don't know. Just, anyway, um... Edit to Hippopotter Rush. Okay, fair enough. Getting some energy drinks for yourself. I mean, I'm glad that they came up over here. I'm glad that they're quenching their thirst and, and stuff like that. That means at least the shops are working. I also, by the way, I got some great suggestions for what to do in this space, including, like, the garden thing. And you might have noticed during the time lapse, I came across the, um... Oops. The, uh... Not this, but this guy, this bronze sculpture. I feel like that could be a nice kind of centerpiece for, uh, for some decorative elements over here, right? You put it on a plinth or something and you, you decorate it around it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to do uh, to do uh, this space for sure. Where did these guys go? Did they just leave? They just left it in there. Ah, no, they actually came in here. Reading some of these boards. All right, all right. All right, need to use the washroom. I wish I could have stayed longer to see the red ruffed lemur. Well, you're not very far away from it. It's like right there. Why don't you just go and check it out? Going home, but first they're picking up some uh, some merch. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. They spent 54 minutes in the zoo in game time. Wow, they spent 50, 1500 dollars. I can't imagine 1500 dollars at the zoo. To be fair, they spent 350 bucks just getting in. Right, one for each uh, each of them. Take it for each of them. $1,500 for a day at the zoo. Closer to 1600 if you want to round up. Like, wow. Then again, it is a group of like, what, four or five people? Maybe that's not so unreasonable. Because that's like, what, 300 bucks per head? With food, drink, gift shop. Entry. Yeah, okay, I guess it's not that expensive. Uh, what I do want to check, though, on the topic of expensive is what are people saying about the ticket pricing? They still say it's fair. I don't know. I feel like that's unfair. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, my God. My bad. I'm just trying to click on people here. Ticket price is fair. It's like we've added, what, four animals? Five, six, seven? We've added, like, seven to ten animals between the last time we uh, upgraded the... Rather, between the last time we checked and now, right? And the zoo, the, the zoo ticket price is still fair. I feel like we've added enough to, like, up the price of it, but... That's not... Delola, no. Oh, oh there we go. What's wrong with the social group? Why are you unhappy? Too many adults. Well then. Wild. Will this guy as well, maybe? Nope, he's the dad. Ngozi, keep you around. Yomi, we can keep you around. They're all, they're all gold. Rank. Rashid. Into the wild. Again, they're not really worth trading unless we do a, a like, uh, stream to trade session. Still way too many adults, eh? Ani, at least through the wild as well. Going somewhat arbitrarily, I suppose. I want to make sure the ones that are around are happy. Still too many. It's obviously not ideal. No, not, I want neither of you to be sent off. The offspring coming over here. Ugh. Let me down over here. See ya. Off to the wild you go. Okay, finally. Dikes. Animal welfare problems over here. Oh, is it because they can't climb or, or something? Nutrition. Hydration problems. You can't drink? Wasn't a problem before. It's still not a problem. They can They can get to the water. Are you just choosing not to drink? That's not good. I 
can definitely get to the water. Hmm. Dehydrated. So what are you up to? Are you? Yep. I was like... <sighs> okay, to the trade center we'll bring him back. Not sure why they can't get water. Verona has escaped. That is en route. He just walked out. He used to be able to do that. I had to get out. Where's your escape route? Can't use the trees. These logs don't actually go all the way out. Yeah, how'd you get out of here? Whoa, hey, 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 nice try. Nice try, buddy. Don't need the vet, just emergency capture. Alright. Now we've got the Nile monitor over here that's escaped too. How? How did you... Sneak through over here, fair enough. Let's go ahead and block this off. That's, that's not unreasonable. That's, uh, I can see what happened there, that's fair. Over a touch. Oh. Cool. That ought to do the trick. What are we looking at up over here? Meanwhile, where are we? We lost my orientation. There we go. Any business up here? Nah. Not since the uh, the small crowd from earlier. Now we'll we'll take a look at, of course, uh, establishing that new. Um, spawn point, the new entry. Many of you were uh, excited for uh, for that. It's $150,000. It's not that expensive. The spawner itself is pretty small, so you know we're not too concerned about that, but it is a matter of like, yeah, what we do with the entrance space. Do we make a massive uh, like a massive parking lot? I got some pretty uh, pretty wild suggestions actually about like making a whole like kind of mini cityscape and a, and a, and a train um, like uh, like a track connection and stuff like that. There's some cool suggestions. They're quite interesting, but I want to make sure that we don't. Uh, I want to make sure that we stay reasonable in terms of like piece count and stuff as well, right? Like we're already starting to see some frame rate issues, uh, and we still have a ways to go. So I, I, we just have to be cognizant of that. Uh, there's some really cool ideas that I definitely wouldn't mind uh, taking a look at and 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 exploring. What is the deal over here? Um, but uh, but yeah, we'll definitely get a, a spawner one up one up over there and one up over here as well. But I think for the next couple of sessions, we're going to be focused on adding new animals and uh, are these guys seriously littering up over here. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look at adding some more animals. I want to, like I've said before, I want to kind of do like the uh, the thing we did with the uh, dingoes and all that, where you know we just back to back to back sessions, we added a few animals and uh, finished up their spaces. I would like to try and execute that again because. Uh, it was quite nice. It was quite nice getting that many new animals in at once. Put this down over here. We do have, yeah, we have a massive crowd for the train. I want, do we have a backup somewhere? Or is it just that we've had a certain influx, like a sudden influx, sorry, of, uh, of guests and they're using this base? This train is like largely unused, underutilized, and that's unfortunate. But I guess more guests want to go that way than this way. Is what that's telling me. Quite a few people coming up over here for the uh, machines as well, for the vending machines, so... That's why this space is so crowded, but... Curious to see what the animals... Or what the animals... <laughs> well, to be honest, to be fair. Curious to see what these guys feel and think. This was good value. I mean, this makes sense that they want to go that way, then. Well, that's that's completely reasonable. Come on, man. Trying to get really uh, annoyed at some of these issues. Things that were working perfectly fine have started to break, and it's just uh, like, why? <laughs> why? All right, we have a near full train. Yeah, it's, a, it's like a half full train. Let's see what happens to it actually as it arrives. Let's see what uh, what kind of is. I, I want to make sure that we're not getting a, a backup of guests queuing up over here because of. Uh, you know, because of the timings being off or something silly like that. Well, folks getting off. Doors open. Guests are able to get in there. Yeah. Quite a few of these guys should be able to get in there. A lot of empty spots. 
Okay. Okay, yeah, this is this is good. This is looking like good service. Perfect. I'm pretty sure this thing is topped up. Yeah, it is. Okay, you know what? We can't ask for anything better. We cannot ask for anything better, so that's pretty good. Talking about how cheap the price of the ticket is. Yeah, we could probably be making a lot more money off of it. Alright, so as that one leaves, where is the next one? Back up over here. For how long? How long do you wait before you start moving? Because that's why there would be a backup, right? Now, fortunately, for some of these folks, the fact that it's waiting means uh, they'll actually catch this train, maybe. You're going to get going? Because there's a train behind you? You're not. You don't have Don't Block Station... Wrong one. You know, over here the doors are closed. Oh, because the mechanic's going in there. Okay. Make sure we got the right one selected here. And it seems as though that train did move on. Okay, so it's not too bad, actually. The block station is on. Alright, that's not too bad. We're down over here. It's just that there is, yeah, there's a backup. Like, this this queue is, is, is full, and it's been full. Like, that train came, picked a bunch of people up, went on, and immediately this queue filled right back up. I guess the thing is, a lot of these guys are not getting off over here. This is almost always a half-full train, which is not something worth, like, I'm not complaining about that. That's actually pretty cool. That's good to see that guests are going all the way from Australia to um, South America or Africa, right? Like, they're they're not getting off at the entrance they're not going part way they're they're taking that whole trip all the way around so that's actually quite cool and i'm glad to see it now let's just see once again one time's a fluke two times is uh is is to double check three times is the pattern i'm hoping the train behind this one is not too far behind this one and we can make sure that this is working to be to be honest though i, I think it is working it looks like it's working just fine we're just that busy now over 7,200 guests. No small, no small number. Small number at all. Okay, good stuff. And again, you can see immediately filling up. Ngozi about to inbreed. Stop it. Stop it, I said. Giant ant eaters have some overcrowding. That's not ideal. Go ahead and get, uh... Fabiana's kind of on the older side, but Louisa, let's go ahead and put you into the Trade Center. We might pull her back out. Not the not the greatest stats. I might just bring in some new uh, Anteaters. A Baird's Tapirs. Have they gotten to work yet? They have not. Baby's so cute. Oh, look at the lighting as well. There's like dramatic lighting on the on the on the Baird's tape here. Look out, lights coming on. Moon up there as well. I'm still not over the uh, the chances the chance of uh, of the um, community challenge being uh, being what it is. Is that a balloon up in the air? I think so. I think so. I don't think we're gonna get. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get a baby. I'll be completely completely honest with you. Staff for having a queue back over here at the research facility. That's fair. I am researching quite a few things at the same time. I wonder if I shouldn't uh, reduce some of the uh, ongoing advanced research. What do we have here? Now monitor a bit more progress. Okay. Getting there. We're getting there. I suppose we could stop the uh, research on lemurs. Sure. For now. Ooh, hey, about to have a baby hippopotamus. Uh, a, a baby, I don't even know what word I was going to say there. 
Offspring imminent. Wonderful. Come on. By the way, I will be decorating the uh, underwater passage and stuff as well. Uh, we are going to do this underwater um, path just slightly differently than maybe originally expected or anticipated. And I will be decorating the underwater passage. Now, they are willing to get quite far, actually. I don't think they've used this just quite yet. But they are willing to get quite far down river. Hopefully, she's going to make her way out and actually have this baby sometime soon. But uh, I don't know. I, I have my doubts. Ooh, more folks coming through. See, the unfortunate thing is that it's like the tr the the... The boat ride is pretty close, the train is pretty close, like it's all pretty close. I wouldn't say they have too far to travel to check out the hippos, but it's just a matter of are folks interested in checking out the hippo, I guess. I guess that's just it. The fun space, it's got a lot of stuff. The only thing it doesn't have is a, uh, like a washroom, I guess. I could use that to draw people over. Yeah, I feel like until we have uh, that other on point, we're not actually going to get guests. You're going to take forever to get out of there. It's going to take forever to get out of there. Fair enough. Some of our llamas are maturing. Yeah, you know, overall, like, there's like not that much management stuff left to do these days, I find. We can definitely streamline our approach a bit more. Like, from time to time, we'll have some animals not getting along. But overall, we'll be doing all right. Actually, how are our koalas doing? How are our koalas doing? Damn it. Alright, William. In your tree, get you off of contraceptives. We need to get a new female koala. Where are we? Because Frankie is, well, she's not infertile, but I don't think she's a suitable mate, right? Oh, okay. Yes, they are. Not inbreeding or anything. But Frankie is the new mother. And William is the new father. Hopefully we'll start seeing some uh, some more koala babies. Yeah, okay, fine. I just wanted to double check to make sure that I wasn't, you know, incorrectly reading Inbreeding versus not inbreeding. Looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Alright, where is our hippo over here? Alika, just about to get out. Nope, turned right back in. No, no, offspring due. Hold on, no, no, where's our offspring imminent? Hang on a second. They're both pregnant. That's great. Tulsa is making her way out. I've normally seen, maybe this is something else, but I've only seen this with the uh, exclamation mark at the beginning. And I used to know, I used, I used to, I will not try it now, but I used to be able to get close to the, to how to actually say that with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, with the click, I guess. But yeah, it's been, it's been some time. <laughs> it's been some time. All right, having your meal over here, fill on up, and then we'll have ourselves a baby hippopotamus. What is a baby hippopotamus? A calf, I imagine, right? It's in the Zoopedia. If memory serves me right, if we take a look at the hippopotamus. Yeah. It'd be a baby calf. As soon as this meal is done, though. Animal has escaped. Where are you? want to see where he like escaped from it's probably too late now but go ahead and see if we can't find one of these kids and see Got a couple of escape routes eh? one up there one over here what they can like climb under this oh i guess so 
Go and pull you down a couple steps. That should do the trick there. I need to pull this down too if I can select it. Come on, like, why not? Weird. Pull you down. Got to do over there and over here. It's like the barrier. Can I pull this back? Cool. That should be good enough for there. I want to see my baby hippo. Just want to see my baby hippo. Heal. A couple of escape routes over there, supposedly. Nothing down over here. Yeah, looks like we're all good over here, but over here, what I assume is going on is just the barrier is, uh, push that back a little bit. This is weird, actually. Oh, no, the barrier's up over here, right? I know I pushed this back for the vegetation, but... Clearly this is a problem. I think that'll do the trick. We'll find out. Right now, I want to look at some baby hippos. <laughs> Selfishly. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Oh, so cute. Well, the icing on this week's cake, I suppose, folks, is this black screen and me telling you that the game just crashed and despite trying to reboot it in multiple different ways, it uh, refuses to load into my zoo. I can load into the game and uh, I can try loading into my zoo, but uh, it crashes every time inconsistently, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to have to look into that. Fortunately, we were able to complete today's episode before that happened. Um, but yeah, hopefully that doesn't take up all of my weekend. But we're going to look into that to make sure we're back next session on time. But unfortunately, this is how we're going to have to call it today. We do have a baby hippo, or perhaps we don't. I don't know when the game saved before crashing. So uh, surprisingly, I guess Planet Zoo is ending with a bit of a cliffhanger. Never thought Planet Zoo would end with a cliffhanger, but... Here we are. Find out what happened next time. I hope you all had a good time despite this unfortunate end. I had a good time with the time lapse. I had a good time with uh, just kind of like uh, cleaning some stuff up as well. But, uh, but next session, if all is well, and I will keep you in the loop, follow me on Twitter. Um, that's where I very consistently post uh, updates to things like this. Um, but uh, hopefully next session we'll be diving into a new animal. Uh, also in the same region. Uh, if you have any thoughts on what you'd like to see, I've already seen some shared, but feel free to share some more. As I mentioned before again, folks, if you've been enjoying the series, leave a like. It does make a very big difference. Uh, it makes a massive difference uh, in uh, not just how I approach stuff on the channel, but of course the channel itself and the the, the performance, I suppose, of these uh, series and these videos. Um, I really hope when I stop hitting record, it doesn't break my entire recording. I guess I'm about to find out. But... Before that, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>